This video is on how to set up your Schoology gradebook, which is the first thing you want to do as soon as you get courses in Schoology. So first I am going to click on my course. Then on this left side, I am going to click on grade setup. Next, I will click add here and this will allow you to add the different types of categories you use for your assignment. So you might do homework, classwork, it depends on what types of assignments you assign. Then you want to say how the grades are calculated. You might use points or percentages and you're even able to drop the lowest assignments depending on how many you want to drop. You would then click create. So my four categories are classwork, extra credit, homework, and test. And you can even weight categories if you like. And this star here indicates the category that you use the most. So for my class, I use classwork the most. So I'm going to click this star and this will become helpful later. There are also some other settings down here where you can set the gradebook scale and that would depend on your district and you can also hide some columns in the gradebook which I'll show you in a bit. The very next thing you want to do is make sure after you have all your settings that you click cha save changes and then you want to make sure that you click copy settings so you can copy these same settings and categories to all your other courses, which will show up down here. And because I don't have any courses, there are none there. So then I would make sure to click copy. Now, when I go to my materials area and I go to create an assignment, When I click Enable Editing, Classwork is the first one that will show up and it just saves me a second or so. There are also other settings you can use down here. You can check those out. Then I'll click Create Assignment. Okay, next, when I go to my gradebook, Um, this is what the gradebook looks like, and you can set what materials you'd like to see. You can show how they are popped up here. So I really like this one because the newest grade shows up right here on the left instead of all the way down on the right. And you can also click view, and there's some options there. But for me, I don't like these two columns here. So when I go to grade setup, I don't really want this overall one because it's just a duplicate of this one. So I would, again, click grade setup. And down here, I would click hide grade, grading periods, calculated score column. And I would save changes. And then I would also copy that to my other, other courses. And so when I go back to my gradebook, there is only one column here. Okay. Something else you might want to use is this little icon here will show you a grade report for that specific student. So it will show you all the students' grades, their scores, your comments, and their overall score here. 